I told myself that I was just going to turn the camera on and just start talking and be as open and transparent with you all as I can be. So. My name is Kristen Luray and I'm here to motivate the day. And this is a little bit uncomfortable for me just because it's hard for me to be a little vulnerable sometimes. And I'm being vulnerable on the internet. But ultimately, the goal of my channel is to be able to help somebody. And if I can help somebody through my struggle, then so be it. So we can start right from the beginning. So I haven't posted a YouTube video in three long months. And during those three months, I had my first semester of senior year in college. <laughs> and y'all... It was honestly a struggle. It was ghetto. This whole year has been like my word for this year is ghetto because it adulting ghetto, bills ghetto, corona ghetto. Like it's all just been ghetto. The transition from um from 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 adolescence to being a young adult to being an adult adult is hard because i feel like no you don't learn this in school and hopefully your parents are training you and raising you um and preparing you for adulthood and i'm not going to say that my mom and my family hasn't done that but there are just some things that you just can't be taught there are some things that are just going to come up like bills you can be learning about budgeting and saving money and the importance of finances but when you really have bills and you have to pay that with your own money that is a rude shock. And I've been paying bills for years now. So, like, it's not like it's a rude, rude shock for me. And I've just gotten in a habit of paying certain bills that I have. But still, nobody trains you for that. Nobody prepares you for that. It's just one of those things that come. And that's just a minor example. But, like, one big thing that I have learned within these last three months is that no matter what goes on in your life and what things happen you still life still goes on and you still have to keep pushing and you still have to i don't want to say like act as if or i don't want to say like life doesn't stop for you long story short life is not going to stop for you time waits for no man and it's going to keep going and you have to learn how to get up get through it and I'm not going to say that sulking is bad, but there's definitely like a time frame for how long you sulk. Don't quote me, y'all. The the um, Beyonce beehive out there, don't quote me. But I'm almost positive I saw this one quote where Beyonce said that she'll give herself one day, one full day to just sulk and her feelings. And then after that, the 24 hours are up get right back to it and that might not be realistic for everyone it, it's not it's not realistic for me I know that but it's been hard out here like just learning that things are gonna happen but I still have to keep going especially in the midst of a global pandemic every a lot of everybody's getting sick everybody's getting even if it's not COVID mentally people are sick physically like emotionally and especially being black this year baby it's been a struggle this year has taught me that you have to keep pushing um i've definitely dealt with a lot of self-doubt just because i don't know like i was saying a lot of my family members or even friends or just people have told me oh you're meant for greatness da 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 and anybody can tell you that but when it's you by yourself you have to believe that yourself and you have to have that confidence of i know i'm born for greatness and i know that i'm gonna do something great but if you don't see that it doesn't matter who tells you that you have to see that for yourself and i do a lot of comparing y'all it's hard out here it's really hard especially with social media but a lot of the people that i went to high school with either 
have a baby in school graduated um some have passed and everybody's just trying to figure out life and do their thing but it's just like how how in the world do i do that and for the longest i haven't posted a youtube video just because i haven't felt motivated myself and i want to be transparent and give you real raw kristen Lorray, and i hopefully motivate somebody's day but if i don't feel motivated myself then i was like how can i motivate anybody else but <clears throat> I took a conversation that I had with my aunt. Shout out to you, Aunt Wendy. <laughs> but she was just telling me if your goal is to be transparent and real and raw, then, you know, show people that, yes, you might be struggling, you might be going through stuff, and you might not be as motivated, but you're still here, and you're still strong, and you're still pushing. And that's, like, that's what I want to get out to anybody through this video even though I'm kind of rambling and all over the place but we're still you woke up you woke up and if I can help anybody then that's really I know that that is a part of my purpose and it is just hard because I just don't know where I want to go I don't know where I want to go and the uncertainty of it all especially during this pandemic because even though the vaccine is currently out, it's still gonna take a little second for it to get distributed to everybody. And even when it is distributed to everybody, it still takes time for it to really go into effect. So it's just one of them things like, this pandemic has taught me that one life is not certain, which we're all adults, so I hope we all know that by now, but also just appreciate every moment that you have and take it for what it is <clears throat> i mean it might sound kind of dark but enjoy the moments that you have and the people that you're with and that you can spend you know enjoy all of those because you never ever know what's going to happen um i have my little notes y'all because i really i have a few things that i do want to touch on but even just going back to like adulthood and like me being 23 23 it's hard navigating what i want to do and where i want to go just because i just don't know and now that i'm on break from school now it's i want to learn well not learn but i want to start dibbling and dabbling in different things so whether it's reading or getting more consistent with my youtube again because when i was doing my youtube and the feedback that i was getting from it i was like dag i really am able to help somebody if i can just help one person just one person at the end of the day then i feel like i have done my job of course if i could get paid from youtube that'd be great too but ultimately i want to be able to help somebody and one of my more recent videos i did a video on my experience working at amazon and that is my i got some followers some subscribers from that video okay y'all but it was hard just because i was getting i have 51,000 views on that video currently and it's something that might not be a lot but for me baby it is a lot so whoop whoop to me but i was getting so many comments and so many views in a short amount of time and in my head, I was like, how am I gonna top this? And because I was so scared that I wouldn't be able to top it or I wouldn't be able to, I don't know, help somebody else. I was just like, I don't know what to do. And that's one reason why I haven't been in front of a camera, unless it's for like my major and a school project. I haven't been in front of a camera and just talked in such a long time, but I'm rebuilding my confidence and yeah, I mean, that's really, that's, that's what it is. I don't know. I've just, I'm still in the process of being able to find my voice and that just goes along with just finding yourself and knowing what you will allow and what you won't allow and 
what you do and what you don't like. Um, it's it's not an overnight process and I'm not going to be like, oh yeah, I found my voice, so here I am in front of the camera because that's not the case. But I'm, I'm in the process of finding my voice just by learning and educating myself on certain topics that are going on in the world and just building my confidence and knowing that the things that I do say have value just because I'm and I mean listen I can have a random conversation and I can talk about random weird stuff but I can also talk about real stuff what did I just say I don't even know but <laughs> y'all really am just talking for real but I don't know I just want to be able to motivate I just want to motivate y'all they see it that's, that's just what I'm trying to do for real and um I just know that if I leave y'all with anything today, know that your path is your path. And don't get caught up in comparing yourself to anybody else because your story is supposed to be your story. It's supposed to be unique. And like I said, it's just supposed to be yours. So don't get caught up in what other people are doing because baby, I've been there and I still do it to this day, but it's not helpful. It's really a disservice to myself because I also have to realize that I'm pretty dope. I'm pretty like, I'm a pretty, I'm pretty dope individual, not to toot my own horn or anything, but I like the path that I am going on. And I just want to continue to help anybody that I meet. And uh, yeah, y'all, we got this. Self-doubt is going to creep up, but it's really just about how you tackle that feeling. Because you shouldn't just let it sit there and marinate. But remind yourself of how dope you are, how awesome of an, in of an individual you are. And if you see things that you don't like about yourself, work on those things so i'm back right now i hope this video motivated somebody anybody because really i'm just rambling on but my name is kristen lorraine i'm here to hopefully motivate your day and you're gonna see this face a little more often